Hello folks. So in the last video, I gave an introduction of what exactly is image captioning and you know, gave a demo of an app. In this video, I'm going to start writing code for our image caption project. This is the part one of the video uh, of the code where you will be, uh, you know, um, able to know about using and restructuring an existing pretend model called VGG16, which Keras Kira provides directly. I will be using Flickr 8K dataset for this project series. I have taken some of the code inspiration from uh, Jason Brownlee, who is also much passionate about uh, you know machine and deep learning. So I would like to say thanks from the bottom of my heart. So watch this video till the end if you want to establish the foundation from the beginning itself. Folks, this is Nitin welcoming you to the AI University channel where you can learn all of your favorite digital technologies like machine learning, deep learning, uh, AI, big data, Hadoop, virtual reality and cloud computing. And you can acquire the related skill set in order to advance your career in these fields. This channel takes on hands-on approach to build AI based products and applications. So if you are new to this channel, con then consider subscribing to it. Or if you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about the hottest technologies of 21st century. So I'm going to use the Google Colab to train this model because some of the useful libraries like Keras uh, with TensorFlow as the backend, scikit-learn, pandas, numpy, etc. are installed uh, you know, there by default as well as it provides GPU and TPU based environments so you can train your models uh, you know, pretty fast over there. So if you don't know uh, what a Google Colab is, then uh, you can watch this video link given in the I, but by I button above, uh, you know, in order to get more details. I'm going to use Flickr 8K dataset to build these models, okay, or this model. It contains, uh, you know, little over 8,000 images, each of which uh, annotated with five captions, which provides description of, uh, you know, entities in the image uh, depicting variety of scenes and situations. This data set uh, contains predefined uh, training data set of 6000 images, uh, 1000 images for validation uh, data set and 1000 images for test data set. So overall 8000 images in this data set. Uh, this data uh, set is actually available for free and can be acquired by filling up the form. Okay, I would have shared the data set with you uh, but the instruction uh, says uh, that please do not uh, you know redistribute this uh, data set okay so I'm going to provide you the link uh, from where you can acquire this data set okay and this link is shown here on the screen and same will be provided in the description section as well so you can uh, copy paste the link from the description section so when you fill up uh, this form and submit it, you will receive an email containing two files, flickr 8k underscore dataset dot zip, which is a one gigabit file uh, containing all the images. Okay. Then there is a second one, a uh, second file, which is flickr uh, underscore text dot zip, which is a 2.2 megabyte, uh, megabytes of uh, file, uh, which contains a description of each images. Okay. So uh, we will be using, um, you know, a pre-trained VGG model in order to extract the features of the images. Okay. And VG, VGG stands for Visual Geometry Group Model that won the ImageNet competition in uh, 2014. Okay. And in VGG 16 model, the number 16 uh, depicts the number of weight layers in the model. It is a CNN based model containing the 3 by 3 convolution layers stacked uh, you know, on top of each other in increasing depth. And uh, reducing volume size is uh, actually handled by max pooling layer and uh, two fully connected layer each with uh, 4096 nodes uh, you know, are then allowed by a softmax classifier. It is, uh, it is also have another variant called VGG19, which contains 19 layers. So if you want to learn more in detail and then you can go through this link. And this link uh, will also be provided in the 
description section as well. So these days we have more advanced architectures like ResNet which can be uh, you know successfully trained at the depth of 50 to 200 okay and we are using a vgc 16 because it is relatively small and uh, you know can be trained faster keras provide this pre-trained model out of the back box and uh, you know uh, when you use this model first time keras will download the model weights from the internet uh, or the size of the weights uh, can be uh, roughly about uh, 50 megabyte uh, sorry 500 megabytes in this video i'm going to use this vgg 16 pre-trained model to extract the image features and then going to save it in a file now we can load these features from the file later on wherever we want uh, want it and uh, you know feed them into our model as the interpretation of a given uh, image in the data set. It is like you are running the specific image through the full VGG16 model. All right. So let's quickly move on to the coding part. Okay. So let me open my uh, Google Colab Jupyter Notebook. So here is my uh, Google Colab Jupyter Notebook. And as you can see, I'm first importing list dir or list dir from OS package here, right? Uh, list dir helps in, uh, you know, searching through a given path for all the files in the directory. That is, this method returns a list containing the name, uh, names of the files, entries, uh, names of the file entries in the directory given by the path, okay? And next, I'm importing, uh, you know, dump from uh, pickle. Okay, uh, pickle is basically used to serialize and deserialize uh, a Python object structure, right? So any object on Python can be pickled so that it can be saved on disk, right? So pickle dot uh, dump function is used to store the object data to the file. Okay, next. I'm importing VGG16 model from keras.application.vgg16, okay? And after that, I'm, uh, uh, you know, importing load underscore IMG function from keras.preprocessing.image, okay? Um, and this load IMG function is used for, uh, you know, loading an image from file as a PIL image, okay? Or PIL image object. Next, I'm importing img2 array, okay, here you can see here, right, from keras.preprocessing.image, you know, and uh, this I'm doing to uh, convert, uh, in fact, I'm going to use this to convert PIL image instance to a numpy array so that our model can understand the image. So basically converting the image into a numerical form or uh, in, so that model can interpret it very well next i'm importing preprocess function here as you can see preprocess uh, underscore input function which is an inbuilt function of uh, keras dot applications dot vgg16 uh, which is used to preprocess any given image in order to extract features of that image okay next i'm importing uh, model from keras dot models okay and we can instantiate a model to include the necessary layers, uh, you know, given some input arrays or tensors and output arrays and tensors. Okay. Next, uh, as you can see here, I am creating um, uh, a function with the name extract features. Okay. Uh, we are going to include all the required steps to extract features from each image in the directory okay so the directory is an uh, is an argument to this function so in the first line of the um, uh, you know of this function or the first line inside this function i'm uh, i'm actually loading the VZ, vgg16 model here uh, using vgg16 class okay in the subsequent lines i am uh, basically restructuring this vgg16 model by popping off or removing the last layer from the loaded model, okay? So VG16 model is used to uh, uh, classify the images or 
predict the classification for a image so we are actually not interested in classifying the image hence we are removing the last layer we are rather interested in uh, you know internal representation of the photo uh, of this uh, image uh, right before a classification is made okay so these will uh, be treated as the features that the model has extracted from the image next i'm printing the summary okay here all right so next i'm printing this uh, uh, summary uh, of the model to show the architecture uh, you know uh, architecture of the entire vgg model but without having a last classification layer because we already removed it okay so let me show you the architecture so you can see here right so this is the architecture of this vgg 16 model which i'm printing all right all right so you can see that last layer is removed here i have removed using uh using that pop function here all right this one layer start box all right in the next line i'm uh, creating this empty uh, dictionary or to store image features okay uh, next i'm creating uh, or i'm utilizing this for loop okay to go through each single image in the flickr 8k data set okay directory to first load the image okay uh, keras provides tools for reshaping the loaded image into a preferred size of the model okay so as you can see uh you know we can i have defined the target size as well so uh, keras actually uh, uh, provides tools for reshaping the mo uh, loaded image into a preferred size of the model for example three channel uh 224 by 224 pixel image so okay so i'm defining the target size of the image as 224 by 224 at the time of loading this image okay through this so uh, th this parameter target size defines that next i'm converting the image pixels into numpy array using img to array function here okay next i'm let me scroll down okay so next I'm reshaping uh, this data or array without changing its data. Okay, so this step is required so that data can be converted according to the requirements, uh, according to the uh, convolution neural network requirements. Okay, you just uh, you can't just uh, present data in any form. You need to follow the guidelines of convolution neural network. Uh, in order to get that data so before presenting any data as an input to convolution neural network you sometimes need to reshape that data which i am doing here okay i am reshaping this data uh, in order to meet the cnn guidelines to get the input data in a particular shape okay all right so uh, next i am basically preparing the uh, image for vgg model using preprocess underscore input function okay and uh, i uh, in the next line um i am actually extracting the features using model dot predict providing image as an argument okay and lastly i am storing the features uh you know uh, here okay so once the complete processing is done okay uh, using for loop i am returning all the features from the extract feature functions here okay so if you want to see um, so if you see that i defined the directory name as flickr 8k data set okay which contains 8000 images and then i utilize this uh, extract features function which i defined here extract features and provided the directory which is flickr 8k data set as an argument to it and then i printed the length okay of it so right now this processing is going on uh, but uh, after that actually i am uh, saving this model 
or in fact saving these features not models and the model is going to be created uh, sometime later but I'm actually saving uh, the features of all the images in this particular pickle file which is features.pkl okay and if you want to take a look at so as you can see uh, that you know uh, uh, it is processing each image in this data set right to extract the features of each of the images okay and once this processing is done once it goes through or uh, uh, you know um, it processes all the 8000 images all those features all the features of those uh, 8000 images will be uh, saved in this file which is called features.pkl file okay and uh, later on we will be using this file to extract the features in order to use it in our model okay uh, for uh, predicting the captions right so as you can see here I used this uh, pickles dump function to save all the features in the form of a file uh, called features.pkl file or pickle file so folks this is it for this video uh, to conclude I explained uh, VGG model as uh, Flickr uh, uh, VGG model 16 model of uh, and Flickr 8k data set I also started writing the code and created a function to extract those features okay features of all the 8000 images so let me ask you a question from today's video uh, what is the another variation of VGG 16 model please post your comments in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback you can also ask your technical questions in the comment section I will be glad to answer your questions if you're watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking that little subscribe button and in case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video so thanks for hanging out with me guys I will be covering next topic in the upcoming videos so keep on watching thank you